Post-game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs. Saturday night in the Star City is the location for another SBHL showdown tonight between your Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs and the Knoxville Ice Bears. Down to the far goal line. Now centered out towards the top of the zone. Insert shot. He scores. Knoxville able to open the scoring here on the power play. It is one to nothing with 12.59 to go in the first. My goodness, that was an ugly hit. Sonato gets boarded face first, but he was already down on his knees, and he's going to have to answer for that. That is a cheap shot by Boilard. That's how this first period comes to a close. A power play goal by Knoxville gets them on the board first. And Roanoke trailing one to nothing at the end of 20 minutes. It's Wiener Dog Races time, folks. We've got two eats, and then we'll have a championship eat afterwards. And it's a slow start. No one really getting off. There's two dogs that have just decided to snip each other's bottoms. And now we got a couple of slow trotters. And now we got a speedy dog going across the way. A little golden one. This one dog with the spotlight on it is just trotting across against a Sunday afternoon, but it's gonna be a photo fish. A couple of late arrivals right at the goal line, and I think we have about a two way tie or so down at the near side. But you had that black dog in the yellow and blue sweater that was just waltzing through like they were going to grab the paper on Sunday morning. And that is cool, calm, and collected. If you wanna see poise, and here we go again, and across the far way, there's a dog in a blue sweater that is tearing across. And they are going to get there first. And there's a black dog out to its left that probably came in second. That blue dog's doing a victory lap. Holy smokes, he's still running out to the near side circle. If I'm a betting man, and I tell you what, folks, I am definitely a betting man, the blue sweater dog has this thing on lock in the championship heat. Unfortunately, I do not think you can find any live lines out there for the SPHL Wiener Dog races. And this is for all the marbles, folks. The Wiener Dog races here in Roto come all down to this, the championship heat. And here they go from left to right. It was a good start for the blue sweater dog when it veers off right. You got a three horse race down to the right. It looks like the brown and white dog is going to be the one that finishes as the winner. There was a black and tan dog that was right on its heels. And now the blue sweater dog, though, showing that acceleration, but it's just too late. It was a real first quarter collapse in that race from the blue sweater Superman dog, who's now just doing circles around everyone showing off. I think that that blue sweater dog had so much speed. They were above this Wiener Dog race in their mind. I think they showed the speed in the first heat. And it looks like the dog's name is Daisy. Did we pay them to do that? There's no way that dog's name is Daisy. No way that dog's name is the same as our woman dog mascot. You just can't make this stuff up, folks. It only happens right here on the Haley Toyota Rally, our dog talkie network here in Roanoke. Who now springs the break away up to Spud. His shot gets parried away by Rodebush. Big save from Rodebush, number 83.
That's how the second period comes to a close. Morona matches a franchise record in that period. 24 shots on goal to Knoxville's seven, but it's still a one to nothing lead as Riley Morris has 35 saves so far. Long enough for DiCarlo to pry it loose. Now DiCarlo, over to the near point, Albo. Albo feeds the center point. Senato, hit shot, tipped along by Stubbs. The puck's still loose. DiCarlo dangles, back down, he scores! Roanoke has tied this game in line. 11.40 to go in the third. It's DiCarlo. He has been humming around all weekend long trying to get to those bouncing pucks. Last night it was everyone else's turn to score. It felt like Riley Morris, 38 saves, but the 39th shot on goal, Alex DiCarlo, able to beat Morris and it was all composure. And for the 17th time in 45 games this year, we are going to post-regulation in a rail yard dogs game. One to one, Rona with the big penalty kill here at the end of the third period. Let's go three on three and throw five minutes on the board. Next goal wins here in the Star City. McKinney will go two on one into the Roanoke zone now. Left wing circle, that shot saved by Rodebush. Knoxville's gonna come away with a puck. That shot by Murray, tipped on the glove of Rodebush and scored. Knoxville is one in overtime, two to one. Troy Murray able to rattle it off Austin Rodebush's glove to get them the second point tonight. Post game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs.